All right, gentlemen. Here it is. I've managed to unthread the lens. It took a little bit more force than I was anticipating, but it did come right out. Did not break anything. I was able to unthread that from its original housing that was used on the 808D. I'm going to be able to bond that housing directly onto there without any modifications. The four little posts will line up perfectly in those four holes in the corners. And then I'll go ahead and mount this back into the frame with uh, this being installed, not installing that. Once everything's mounted and up together, I'm going to go ahead and wind this uh, through from the outside through that hole in the housing because the fat body of the main lens up front does not fit through that hole. That'll make it very serviceable. And the downside to doing this, of course, again, is we're going to have to readjust the focus. Um, I think the only easy way to do the focus is to feed a video out uh, from the transmitter into your television or your PC or something so that you're able to get a better view than what just a little um, FPV transmitter shows. I'm afraid we won't be able to tell too well on that. But who knows? We'll see. Uh, big cautionary thing here. Make sure when gluing this back on there, you don't get glue on the image sensor as well. Make sure that when installing everything back in the frame, you're being very careful not to get dust back in there. In fact, I would go as far as to put a piece of masking tape across this or just something light. Be sure once this is glued back on the top there that you use minimal glue so that it is serviceable. Secondly, you're going to have to reinstall a piece of thin, it looked like it was about 30 seconds thick, uh, double stick tape on the back of this. You don't need the adhesive, you just need it for the padding to keep the lens pressed tightly between the, t the front case half and the inside case half here. Uh, that area right there is where the socket for the uh, lens itself, it actually sits right in there.